Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Again, an uh, example of how these people are trying to uh, take focus from uh, uh, big, the big picture and real issues to the little issues. You know, I explained this in a few articles, a few videos uh, before, where um, the mass media are trying to uh, <coughs> re retake your focus from uh, real things to little ones. Like, for instance, you play soccer or football and your team is losing, let's say, 10 to 0. And then you play and then you uh, you stick the... the no, no, kick the ball between uh, an opponent's between his legs and you like celebrating with everybody it's like you won the whole game so you celebrate the little trick that you did it was funny good but you're losing uh, the whole thing the whole purpose of that meeting is who wins the game but you're happy that you uh, kick the ball between your opponent's legs and everybody's yeah man we did it now this is how these guys are focusing our attention to things like this you know little things so we don't see the big picture what actually is going on we have here um, an article actually two of them about the same issue with uh, putin the president of the russian federation his visit in mariupol now <clears throat> maybe you are uh, familiar with the fact that putin showed up in mariupol mariupol is in the occupied territories or the new annexed territories and he's about i don't know like 50 kilometers, 50 miles, 40 miles, 30 miles, 40 feet, something like this from the front. So he's close. He showed up over there. And uh, the big picture, I will tell the big picture. Let me tell you what these guys like to focus on. Uh, he came in the middle of the night like a thief. He was afraid. Yes, Putin is afraid. He just came in the middle of the night. Yes, while he was meeting some residents in Mariupol, someone heckled. Heckled Putin. Wow, yeah, you want to know what, what she said? You know how she's heckled him? Hmm. So this is what they were important uh, the issues over there. Not that he came into those territories being feeling safe enough to come over there and that town is already taken and is seriously covered and protected from the Ukrainians that this guy, number one evil guy, shows up over there. No, 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 that, that's unimportant. No, 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 it doesn't show that. On the contrary, it shows that he's weak. <laughs> what the hell is... So he comes in at the front, and I saw some articles saying Putin came in Mariupol, shows, coming to Mariupol shows that he's weak. He's losing the war. Well, if he would have stayed in Kremlin, you said, like you said in another article, you <laughs> said, well, he's been sitting in hiding in the Kremlin all his uh, time, uh, the, the war... Um, uh, was waging so he was hiding in the Kremlin for a year now that he that was a bad thing obviously he's a coward now he showed up in Mariupol now that's not good either now he's a coward because he came in the middle of the night and that somehow shows that he he's losing so he was he winning when he did not show up over there I mean these guys are all over the place they're so they're, they're average they're not, not, not dumb they're average but they know people in charge of them, they know that the population out there will not ask these questions and I'll say, wait a second. So if he stayed in, in Kremlin, he was uh, a coward and uh, I don't know if he was winning or not, but now I know that he was winning because now that he shows up in Mariupol, <clears throat> now he's a coward again and he's losing. That means he was winning. Now, which one is it? What is Putin supposed to do to show that he's courageous? Do this? Bang? <laughs> I mean... Come over, Red Rover. And that, that's not the whole point here. I'm talking about this uh, alleged heckle, heckler. That could be, could be. But if there is a heckler over there in Mariupol who heckled uh, Putin, that tells me things again that uh, the Western mass media um, you know, contradicts itself. And let me show you what, am I, what I'm talking about here, okay? So this article comes from the New Voice of Ukraine. And I have another one here from uh, the Telegraph, and it says, "Watch Putin heckled during Mariupol visit." Uh, I couldn't access any video here that would show me that. Uh, I couldn't watch anything here heckled, uh, and even if I do it, it's just uh, gonna tell me something in Russian that I do not speak. So anyway, anyway, I'm I'm gonna take it um, both ways. It happened or it didn't happen. 
So in a video, an elderly man, well, this is not what it is. They're all, these guys are saying, you're fantastic, you're good, thank you very much for being here, basically. And then this is in an early release of the video of Putin to talking with the allegedly local residents by Kremlin-controlled news agency RIA Novosti, a woman can be heard shouting, this is all false, it's a show. So, <clears throat> since I don't speak Russian, I, I can't assess that in the video or anywhere else. But let's say this is true, and let's say these guys were actors. All right, now if those guys were act actors, how in the hell the ugly Russians were not, not able to secure the perimeter and make sure that nobody will yell anything? You tell me. So first, that uh, let's start with this. The, um, <clears throat> the, the woman was there, so this is fake. All right, which I suspect it is. You're not going to just pick some people and put them over there. You vet them, you put them over there, and they will say whatever <clears throat> that happens. Even in our businesses, when you go to in a meeting, they pick and see who's going over there and so on. I will explain directly, direct experience with these kind of things, and I'm pretty much sure that you <laughs> went through something like that too. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do it right now, actually. So, when I, uh, you know, involved in a business, blah, 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 you sometimes have a controller to figure out how satisfied we are of, uh, uh, of our jobs, you know. And then you have the director who, and we want to talk with uh, the right people to pick the right people from, uh, you know, the workers, you know, in order to have that inspector, that, uh, you know, uh, person who's going to come and see how we're doing, uh, stay together with a worker the whole day and to see how the job is done, how happy you are or how upset you are. They picked almost always the same person who was the most perkiest, fake, uh, yes sir person. He didn't pick people that were having something else to say or have a little bit of dissent or they were not unhappy with the job. No, 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 no. They picked the same person as the example. The controller would go with that person all day, eight hours. Pop, 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 no, like shadow the person. And after that, oh, everything is good. Why? Because that person was a fake, was a, was a person who was yes, yes, yes. So then that guy goes back to his office and say, well, the, the department works A-OK. -okay. Well, no, we didn't work A-OK. -okay. Like her, there were about, what, three other, uh, how do you call that, uh, brows, uh, brown nosers like that. They didn't pick anybody of, uh, you know what I mean? The majority. No, no, that. So here, they do the same thing. They bring the ones here and they put the right ones for the president. More or less. I don't have any information. I just suspect that happened. Now, how in the hell that woman escaped somehow? What if that woman had a sniping, uh, uh, sniper's rifle? So that's another impossibility. Okay, let's say it happened, which I don't know if it happened, but let's say it happened. I give it 99%. Okay, it happened. What does that show? That shows that Putin is not a criminal as they say he is. Because otherwise, who in the right mind would do such a thing when you know that the next step you will be killed? Only a crazy person. You can't say a courageous person because I'm telling you, you worked or you work. Wherever you go, you see that you keep your mouth shut in front of a manager, owner of a company, let alone a criminal. They have all those guys around you. Then they're going to kill you on the spot. Nobody will find out about you ever. So, you know, when you tell me the courage, I don't believe that's courage. So in order for that person to do it, that tells you that she don't expect um, repercussions. Or the repercussions are not the way that we are told here that might occur. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if something like this would happen in uh, real, 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 um, how should I put it? I don't even know what example to give you. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Cambodia. All right, when I, when I, when I, what's his name? Uh, Pot. I can't remember his uh, first name. Anyway, do you think that that oh, Stalin? Let's get Stalin. Do you think if someone like this would have happened in Stalin time, that person would be alive? And nobody said it. Why? For the obvious reasons. They knew better. So why didn't they do it? That's a clear example. And since Putin surpassed uh, uh, Stalin in evilness, then how is that possible? Okay. That, take it with that. And as I said, related it to your real life experience. You need courage 
to tell your boss that he's wrong. <laughs> and do you tell Putin that it's uh, staged and it's staged and fake? Yeah, yeah. What do you expect? You're going to be shot right on the spot if that would be the case. Um, I mean, imagine that happening to Saddam Hussein. Do you think everybody, anybody would say that? Hey, Saddam, you're a mm -mm -mm. You will be picked up and executed on the spot. So that's why this little thing, uh, it is staged or it's not staged. It's a small little thing that doesn't really matter. It's a propaganda thing for both sides. This guy say, well, look what he did. The other guy said, oh, look what he didn't do. Or what he did is, you know, fake and all that. The fact is the guy showed up over there. The guy went over there. Uh, what time would have been uh, the proper time for the Western media to say, yes, he came over there as a courageous guy? At noon, at 2.30 p.m., 5.25 p.m., when would have been the right time so they could not say, well, he came like a coward in the middle of the night? And besides, you don't control this. He controls it. He can come over there wherever he feels like. You don't know what he feels. You just imply. Why? Based on your worldview, your ideology. So anyway, I don't know if this happens, but my point is, I don't think that she did it. If she did it, that means he must must be a good guy <laughs> uh, or not as bad as these guys are saying he is. Otherwise, she would be dead. And how do I reason that? The way I said, look at your life and you tell me how you shake in your freaking boots talking to your boss. Look how what happens in the United States of America. Look how courageous these guys are to tell this and that. Look, for instance, in the, um, uh, at the Capitol, right? And I'm talking about when he had, uh, what, uh, when Biden came uh, and he had the little speech over there in front of the nation. It was what, one person who yelled, two persons out of how many? And in the, when they go and have interviews, they're all, yes, Biden is this Biden. But in front of Biden, it was only, what's her name, Marjorie Taylor Green, whatever. <laughs> that's the only one who heckled and uh, Gates. That, that, that's it. Two out of all those, uh, what, um, 400 and 700 and what, 470, whatever they are. I mean, no, no, no. And they say, oh, it happened. Uh, believe me, my friends, this is just interpretations of uh, certain things that are not logical. Is it impossible? No, but it still doesn't make sense that she would say it if she knew that she would be executed. Because that would be the, the next step. If, you know, we know Putin is that evil, then what would be the result? And for what? I remember when it was the communist times in Romania with Ceausescu. Nobody would say something like that. You wouldn't say that to your boss over there. If that would be the case, why? You would get in trouble, not assassinated, but you're going to be talked to. You're going to lose your promotion forever. And if you keep saying it and you're important enough, yeah, you would be taken and uh, spoken with a few times and then uh, let back in the society. And if you continue, then yeah, probably would disappear. So uh, these guys here, they know that the population here doesn't really know, didn't go around the block in reality. They don't, oh, Putin is bad. Okay, well, he's bad. How come she talks? How come there's dissent? Well, he's a dictator, but are people who, who um, oppose him or criticize him. How is that possible? And he's still alive. And say, Putin's critic was killed. Have any evidence? No. But we assume Putin is like that, right? Based on, because he's like that, right? <laughs> and then who is a critic? He's in jail or he's assassinated or another critic. It's like everybody here who dies of, uh, I don't know, in a hotel. You find him dead in a hotel or just tries to fly. Let's say he didn't vote for Biden. Is because Biden did something to this guy? No. Why? Because we're the good guys. Everything starts from a dogmatic uh, worldview. We're the good. They're the evil. And you see facts, evidence. Just look in the past, the past 30, 30 years and see how this country, for instance, behaves internationally. And put that with this bullshit in Ukraine. All right? Now, if that's bad in Ukraine, then uh, what is the other thing? And how in the hell you call yourself good then? But anyway, no, 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 no. Everybody, hey, who's talking? Who's talking? Nobody's talking. Look, look at the Western countries. None of the Western countries criticize, dare to say, to call the United States, well, maybe you're not that good. Well, you have Marine Le Pen, let's say, or France or other crazies that dare to say that for a little bit. They're ignored. They put them. Why? When the evidence clearly shows that, well, 
Maybe those things were not right to say maybe just to click click, but look the look the unanimity here. That nobody says anything, but over there the woman challenges Putin. Isn't it weird? So who's courageous? Well, are you afraid you're going to be killed by uh, saying, well, as a politician in Germany saying, well, how about the uh, United States? Uh, I don't know, could be considered a you know war crime, uh, you know, country, a terrorist country. Oh wow! What? What did they do with in uh, 1945? Hiroshima, Nagasaki. How do you call that? Why did they do that? That's a definition of that. You blow up civilians in order to change a political goal or a politi political uh, you know regime or you know <laughs> take the dictionary. Don't listen to me. But no, no, no. This okay. da, 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 da. with anybody there. They're, they're somehow, somehow their political career will be gone, will be done. But here the woman risks her life to hackle Putin, knowing that she's going to die. Very courageous, uh, unheard in real life. Yeah, thank you very much for being, I'm just kidding, unheard, but uh, you know what I mean. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.